All right, Girthy Gang, we got the uh, Tim Dillon on Two Bears, One Cave, the worst thing that happened to him on a cruise ship. We are live on Kick and Twitch, which is down in the description down below if you guys would like to see some live streams. But uh, let's see how this goes. ...to let people know that they can pre-order your book right now. Yes, if you want to pre-order my book, it's called Death by Boomers, How the Worst Generation Ruined the Planet, But First a Child. <laughs> Uh, and it's going to be on my website. Tim he Dillon also Com says some of the most out of pocket shit, and it's so funny. Comedy.com on my Instagram, Tim J. Dillon. There it is. There's um, the cover. There's the cover. And I wanted my parents to look as good as possible. They look great. They look great. And that was the direct. No, this is actually, they don't look like that, but they, it's that's their essence. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's a funny book of funny stories about uh, you know growing up in the '90s with boomer parents. It's it's such a uh, a shared experience. We might have to actually read that by so many of us, um, especially being born in '91. I wonder how much of that shit is relatable. Those boomers, man, they didn't. I don't know. They did the best they could. I don't know. You know, they didn't. And <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know what it was? They loved themselves. Yes. And there is something to be said for that. They loved themselves. They loved cruises. Yeah. They loved wine. What is up with cruises? I mean, just boomers love a cruise. They like, Did your dad like cruising? Uh, he, not as much, but it was like, that was like uh, my mother and a lot of them. They just love cruises. They love eating. They love going out to eat. They love drinking. They love golfing. Um, I mean, who? those sound like great things. Golfing, eating, and going out to drink. Um, and they didn't care really about their children. Yeah. But that's okay. Yeah. And it was fun, and we grew up fun, and we had a great childhood growing up doing things on our own. Yep. And our parents kind of just were kind of, it was like, hey, whatever. Like, the boomers were, it was the first generation of, like, moms and dads that would get drunk with their kids. Totally. And get fucked up with their kids. And, like, rely on their also did growing up didn't get fucked up but we were allowed to we were allowed to try stuff like we could have a drink uh if we wanted to try something as long as we were with a family and we you know all that stuff you don't think theo vaughn is funny to me he just says random shit see to me that's what makes him so funny is like it's such an innocent humor and he he means like it, i think that he's hilarious we're doing good dane how are you Your kids for things it's like yeah, I fucking hate cruises so much. It's and the worst group of people ever gathered together <laughs> in one place. It is a disgusting. My parents I, love. They love cruises. cruises. I yep. was on the Impractical Jokers cruise, and all everyone did was like, I was like, me and a few other guys were like, this is heinous. This is heinous. Wait, like the Impractical Jokers came together and did a cruise just them, and then. We were standing there, and then Bert, wa Bert walked out onto the top deck and went, this is actually the greatest thing ever. I'm going to do one of these one day. Yeah. And and he loves it. And he did. And he did. And he's doing it. And, and he's doing it. He was like. And I love him so much. I told him I was going to do it. I'm he, not doing it. But <laughs> he, he came up to me, and he goes, uh, yeah, there's fully loaded. That's his thing. Yes. It's the fully loaded cruise. Because first he did the fully loaded festival, which he's doing again. I've never been on a cruise, but I would love to do an Alaskan cruise and see like the Northern Lights and stuff. I think it's going on right now, actually. And then he's like, "I'm doing the fully loaded cruise," and I go, "What's?" He goes, "You're doing my festival at sea," and I was like, "Ugh!" I was literally, I go, "Ugh!" Right. And then he goes, "Um, I know what you're probably gonna say," and I go, uh, "Absolutely not." And he goes, "Just let me." Would you do? I go, listen. If you gave me the gross ticket sales right. for this entire event, no, no. I wanted to. I do also have another question that I'm noticing. Is the video of them dark? I don't know if it's just me, but I've noticed as I've recorded stuff recently that like this video seems dark on my recording screen, and I don't know what I've done wrong there. You know, if I could come on and then be airlifted off the boat, <laughs> is there a way That's that probably, I could come? That actually can be arranged. My agent was trying to work it out because there is like a Four Seasons on one of the islands he's near. Yeah. My agent was like, you go on, you do it. You just get on a little boat yeah. and then get out of there. That's not thought, bad. I thought it'd be hilarious to go on, do a few shows, and get in the boat and get the fuck out of But you have to make there. everybody on board watch you depart. A hundred percent. Goodbye, everyone. Yeah. No, cruises are heinous. They're horrible. And the people that enjoy them are um, animals. I don't like the manufactured feel of fun. Have you? Have any of you guys ever been on cruises? I don't. I've. I've never been on one. I know a couple people that have, but I, I've never heard anything good or bad about cruises. But it sounds like they're awful. That they of all do course. like we're all having like the welcome aboard dance, yeah, and and then here's the I mean because my parents made us go on them, yeah, and you were like and I I I would just like pull my dad as I like 
Wouldn't you rather just like fly to a place somewhere and yeah. enjoy that? Like, no, I like this. Uh, you know, he like. I wonder if it's almost like a part of just being out on the open water. That you just walk out, eat, and then yes. I go right back to the room, and and that you're. You feel like you're visiting places. You're not visiting places. People you're, like a curated experience. It's a curated experience. And it's a curated experience. There are really people that enjoy that. There's something about, uh, and they're, what do they cost? $20, $30? dollars yeah. It's not expensive. It's, not it's like expensive. $160 to go on a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a month of the, it's not even a month of the New York City subway. You could go on a full cruise, stem to stern, three meals a day. Oh, you can eat. All you can eat and yeah, it's like all you can eat, all you can drink because you you pay for it. Every you know, meal's included. Every meal's included. <sighs> There's a, you know what's interesting about the cruise is everyone's always eating. There's the pool is the size of a little postage stamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a big pool because right. nobody really goes to the pool. Right. Going on one in August, where are you going? People just eat and then they go to these theme nights. It's Themes like, are it, huge. Eighties night. Then you get on ship and you're like, well, I guess it's cool that like all the food is included and then they go you walk by you're like oh what is this and they go, did you guys speaking of this did you guys see the picture that recently came out of what the titanic looks like size wise versus like actual like cruise line ships today and how much bigger like cruise lines are it's wild so this is like a the italian restaurant you go oh um so we'll come eat here and they're like well this isn't included in the thing you're like what right so that what they do is then they add these experiences that you but don't really the know. The only thing that's included is the military rations yeah, yeah. that they have. Like it's At like the buffet. It's buffet bulk food that yeah. comes in that they defrost. They hit with an ice pick. <laughs> shrimp fall out. <laughs> it's grotesque. They have an ice cream machine. <laughs> I mean, it's bad. Like I there was this really big woman, and I was on the buffet line behind her. Yeah. And she, you know, when they find something new on the buffet, they call. If you guys haven't seen Tim's. Uh stand up on netflix it's so funny well, there are other family members <laughs> like they've just discovered like Make an antique and yeah. she's like hi hi clarlene or like one of those dumb names <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. she's like clarlene come here come here she's like i didn't know what she saw you right had a fried apple she goes yeah. like, she goes like this she goes come here come here <laughs> Like, like she spotted woman. something. And then this fat woman, the other fat woman sitting at the table like, what? What? I'm already eating. So finally she gets up and she waddles over and she goes, they do have waffles. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. He's also such a great storyteller. I think Gabriel Iglesias, Dave Chappelle, and Kevin Hart are funny, but that's also, oh, dude, I love those guys. I just also like Theo Vaughn. I, I also just recently started watching some of his stuff, too. So, like, I think Theo Vaughn's funny as well. Like, I love Dave Chappelle. I went and saw Kevin Hart live, but I would love to see Dave Chappelle live. He is one of my favorite comedians. It, you know, so that was the whole... Now, are you glad you got yeah, it? Yeah, like, see? Aren't you glad we spent $71 <laughs> on this vacation for 16 of us? I mean, caloric surplus every day has yeah. to be at... 5,000 on a cruise. Oh, it's big. Yeah, people are, and you just see, there's so Well, because many, if you have all-inclusive drinks, too, that's so many calories. These scoot scoots, you know, like the yeah. fucking mobile. Mm, <laughs> 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 the scooters. There's nothing better than being on a scooter on a boat. Yeah. Well, actually, you know, now that Bert lost yeah. his foot, he might be like that on the fully loaded cruise. It'd be great that he goes right <laughs> up to the stage, goes up on a ramp. <laughs> it's weird that, um... It caught on as big because in other countries they're they're looked at as disgusting. Other than like they have some river cruises, but that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about a few people going no. down the Danube in a riverboat. This is different. We're talking about a floating, uh, like a floating like um, circus. Yeah, a circus <laughs> where people get on. There's thousands of these people. Thousands. Thousands of them. They I wonder what the max capacity cruise actually is. Get on. There's tubes that are like water slides, I guess. That like like veins are like all over the boat. Yeah, they come in and out, and there's all this status on a cruise amongst people. They're like, status. oh, I'm this level, I'm that level, I'm at, oh, I'm in the captain's quarter. Yeah, you know, like it's crazy. It is crazy. And then are you interior? Like imagine being like, if you're interior, people are like, oh, you don't have a you know. Oh, you don't have a view. You don't have a view. Yeah, Ooh, Jesus. Yeah, and then people smuggle drugs. Smuggle drugs. That's big. So when I was in college. Um, 
I, I couldn't imagine going on a cruise. I would never want to go on a cruise and have a room that doesn't have a view. I, I feel like for me, that would be like the biggest part about going on the cruise would be having that view the whole time. Like that would be an instant turnoff for me for a cruise. Went with two of my roommates and then we, or I guess we needed a fourth person. So we brought some chick that we, yeah. none of us were friends with. Yeah. And we went on a cruise during spring break and as we're doing security, like in the security line, one of my friends, he like tapped me. He's like, I got this weed. And I was like, where? And he's like, right here on me. And I was like, right now? How much do you have on you? He's like, half ounce. And I was like, oh, fuck. And then they're like, you next? And yeah. I walked through and I was like, he's definitely about to get. Yeah. And he, he put it through the scanner. They don't care. Yeah. Didn't but nothing. People bring their own booze. People just that's what they care about. Yeah. They want to flag they that. Want that. I saw people get caught with that. Yeah. By the way, if you want to see something humiliating, watch someone get caught with booze getting onto a cruise. Because when we did the Impractical Jokers cruise, there were people that were getting caught with it. Sure, because that's the real money on that's, the cruise. I want to see like what this Impractical Jokers cruise thing is. Because the they charge is. you. And then people have to pretend they're like, oh, I, I oh my god this is actually a gift I'm, I'm giving yeah. it this is for the captain i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry this is a bottle of absolute vodka it was always like brand that's a bad shit i'm sorry so we're not allowed to have this absolute citron on here i apologize so that i don't have to spend any money yeah, yeah. sorry about that <laughs> i just and here's the thing with a, a cruise they're not tropical they're not like not it's just a death. It's actually funny because I think my dad just went on a cruise not too long ago. Like the pools are small. Yeah. You're just on a deck getting drunk with strangers. So with strangers. It's not like a luxurious experience. There's no. nothing about it that's like, you're nowhere near the water. The water is, one guy killed his wife on a cruise. That's a fucking cool guy. He yeah. killed his wife on a cruise and I talked because I said to the cruise staff once, I said, what's the darkest thing that ever happened on one of these boats because I was really bored? Yeah. And they said one day a guy, we didn't have him on camera, but he went up to the deck with his wife. He came back, she did not. And then he was like at 80s night, the next night dancing and stuff. People like, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, where's your wife? And he's like, oh, what? where is she? It's what are you talking about? Question. And then he, he started to get sad. Here we go. Oh, he did plead guilty. So this is real. What did he like throw her off the wow. side? If they don't have you, they on, arrested him when they. If they, they don't have you on camera, and you fucking you break like that, you get you confess, you fucking deserve that time in prison, man. Like, yeah, let's fuck. Wait, what? Ha now I got to know what happened. How about a, you know how many third worlders yeah. are on this ship? Why don't you blame them? He goes, That's what I, I have no done. idea. What yeah, like the whole impractical jokers cruise is just people go around pranking each other. <laughs> what happened to her? The Romanian guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there's a lot of Philippines <laughs> cruise workers. Fucking engineers. All the cruise workers, a lot of them live in the Philippines. Yeah. It's it's a wild thing. I don't know why. I mean, you think I did or you think one of the... Yeah. Maybe it was the Filipino. Yeah. I saw them on deck, too. Have yeah. you asked them? I'm looking yeah. for my wife Maybe right now. they hated her voice and threw her <laughs> over. <laughs> Maybe they were sick of her passive-aggressive comments. And Wait, so, like, I am intrigued now. Like, did he just, like, toss her over and there was, like, no... There was no, like, nobody that saw it or a camera or anything? What? Threw her overboard in the middle of the she night. She was commenting on how they cleaned the deck. That's got to be amazing. Fucking... That moment. Imagine how, like, that quick. That's like that kid that just graduated high school that jumped off as a joke, jumped off the cruise in the water, and then died. Think of the pace of the heartbeat so when stupid. the wife goes over. Oh, yeah. Just like, you know what? Enough of you. <gasps> and then all of a sudden, like, he just kind of goes, like, Is anyone behind me right now? And then no one. And then, and then he goes like... back to the cabin and has the best sleep of his life. And then he's like, Is it a theme party tonight? Yeah. He goes, Yeah. <laughs> no, literally the next day, he was like, At 80s night. Just being like, this is fun. I'm dressed up as Prince. How can no one say anything? Eventually, people started to be like, hey, where's your wife that you've been here with? Huh? He's like, I don't know. I think she got off. <laughs> I, don't <know> <laughs> I don't know. Like, how do you was. even fucking explain that? Like, you, <laughs> like, when you get back and they're like, yeah, you, you both went on the cruise together, but she's not there with you. I don't know. What's the, what's the thing tomorrow? Yeah. What are we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a Viking thing going on? Yeah. Bert, Tom, Tom and Bert. I love Tim Dillon and then especially Tom Segura. Tom Segura is still one that I want to see uh, do stand up, but Tim Tim would be somebody else I'd love to see too. And I think they they roll off of each other really good. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this though, 
Make sure to comment down below other ones that you guys like and or if you want a specific video done. But that uh, check the description down below. There's the exact way how you can do that. You can send it to me uh, and I'll get that react out. But make sure to hit the like on this one. And I'll see you guys on the next one.